Hey you guys, welcome back. I am Golden Knight. I'm bringing you the next episode of Life is Strange. And we're waking up on the plane going to San Francisco. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. So, I hope I did everything right this well, time. Mr. Jefferson's out there. We saw he got arrested. So, yeah. That happened. Good work, yep, there David. we go. Holy shit, you rule, Max. I am Go so ahead. proud of my superstar. Oh, this is just alive. the start of your career. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. I didn't fix everything. Rachel's still dead. Hmm. Let's look out the window. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. I can't wait uh. for my Frisco. Nobody calls it Frisco, so please don't. We're almost in San Francisco. San Fran I'm so stressed. Frisco. I'm so excited too. Right, we're just looking around because we I really don't have anything to do. I love being called an artist. Q. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. When we were innocent. Please shut the beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Uh, I don't think we need to read this. Read all the environmental chaos on Acadia Bay, such as under unseasonal snowfall and beached whales. Some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Actually, we are going to read this. Uh, witnesses claimed that double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet which has led local meteorologists to believe the imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. And we already know what happened there, so. Your phone. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at Wake up. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip, and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. <laughs> no, you just have to pay for uh, two seats. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. <laughs> we are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and... We're not even there. So my computer just froze, but it looks like we're... Oh, Christ. Another good. nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. like we made it. We're famous.
San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. <laughs> right? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Wow, sir, Max. You did it. Somehow. So there's my name right over my shoulder. To this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... weird. Look, it's mine. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. <laughs> you guys don't even know. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. He's not even looking at me. It's just kind of weird. How did these galleries afford to rent here? Usually, these kind of contests, they, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. The Zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. Okay. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. God, I love art. I don't know why they're not talking. Hey, there's my picture. Different. Loving the retro vibe. Oh, Me we're going to go look at that, of course. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. And another nosebleed, because I am screwing myself up. Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, uh, your nose. High altitude. So, that guy's voice is really low. So I didn't forget about that tornado. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. Max, holy shit, man. Your vision. It's, it's true. You, you saw the tornado. It's coming. What? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe! Sick. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe you will die. Fix Jefferson? Maybe a bay is gonna be destroyed. You just forgot about the tornado. There has to be a way to stop this. Alright. For good. Well, let's, uh... What's that? No, sorry, I got distracted. Alright. Let's... See if we can leave. No. Okay, we're going to the picture. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Let's get this. 
This Excuse way. me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry. Oh my god. There it is. Okay. Oh, I thought that guy was going to interrupt me. So this is interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, my head. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? Oh, shit. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. You're that. Oh, my God. Her head's gonna explode. How's this gonna help anyone? I mean... Now she'll be there to be in the tornado? What? Oh, great. Say, Max. What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. Transformation between the old Max uh -oh. and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Yes, we're going to do this one. Eat shit and die. Two things. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh, I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. Priest. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He you burned my diary. That's why I'm uh -oh. still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't 
do this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, I promise. This final I can't do anything. Hurt. Oh. What? Yes. Was it Nathan? Oh, you can get him. No, oh. David, no. Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Oh, I don't think so. Rewind. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? <laughs> Magic. Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hit him. I don't think so. Okay. We're going all the way back, guys. So there's gotta be something else we can do here. I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I, can I please ask you for one last? There we go. Request. Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Um, one last picture. Some water, play some music. Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. I anything? promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Uh. Get the camera next to you! No gun, no balls. Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop me. Oh, there's, a gun. there's a gun right there. What? David Madsen. Of course. Well. I don't think so, buddy. What's going to stop me? Wait, we can tell him about that gun right there. You are not Where going to stop now? me. Got it. Oh, Damn it. Christ. Dave. It's over. You are not going Grab to stop. The me. <clears throat> Sorry, Madison. You should. We're just trying everything. It's over. You are not going to stop. David, kick that table. Yes, sir. <clears throat> David, Madison. why isn't anything working? <laughs> You are not going to stop me. Yeah. Oh, Lord, Max. Okay, that's a couple are you of tries. Okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. 
Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. <laughs> he won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Oh, man. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. Okay. The Prescott's had to know about this. I need I to stop it right here. And call Warren. Oh, please answer. All right, I need to stop it right here. Uh, I am having computer problems, but I made it through. Thank God. Uh, my computer is like overheating. I just bought thermal paste, uh, Max, which is why it keeps on freezing up. I'm but, sorry you had to be here. Okay. Me too. But anyway, guys, uh, we might be able to finish this in the next episode. I don't know what we're going to do about this. We can try to get people into this bunker. Um, but that's about it. I mean, you can't really stop a tornado. What are you going to do about that? So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time. I had no idea he was this sick. Who's all?